Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfield Automation. This week we're going to create our very first motion control program. We're going to utilize the Compact Desk Controller that I've talked about in lots of my other videos. We're going to have a BNR P3 drive, that's going to be our servo drive that we're going to use. These drives are really great. They can control up to three axes of motion in the same footprint as this guy right here. It's really a really great feature of BNR P3 servo drives. And then we're going to use a BNR 8LS servo motor. That's what we're going to be spinning here on this project. All right, let's jump into the programming. All right, guys, here we are at the workbench. So as you can see, I've got the servo motor, I've got the controller, and I've got the servo drive all hooked up and wired up and powered up and ready to go. I'm also talking power link from the controller to my drive, and I also have my Ethernet cable connected to my laptop here. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I created a new project called My New Motion Program 1. In some of my previous videos, I talk about how to create new projects, how to get the IP address set up for these controllers, and all that fun stuff. So go ahead and watch those videos if you guys need a review on that in order to get to this point. All right, so how, where we're gonna start is we're gonna go to Configuration View. Go ahead and click Map Motion, and then go over here and click Map Axis, Mechatronic Designs, Axis, and then go ahead and double click Axis. Notice that it gets added in right underneath Map Motion. That's exactly what we wanna see. Next, let's go to Physical View. Make sure you're highlighted under power link. And then the drive that I have, this is actually a dual axis drive. That's what the D stands for. And the eight is eight E I eight X eight M W D D stands for dual other drives that come in this P three series are triple axis drives. So you could have three motors off of the same footprint. It's a really great feature of these P three drives that BNR manufactures, but we're just going to stick with this one. Cause that's what I have today. And so go ahead and just double click on it once you enter, enter the drive. And then it's gonna ask us for some additional feedback. I'm gonna skip this step. We're gonna use the feedback that's inherent to this, which is the end data encoder. So go ahead and click the box to skip this page and click next. And then you can also put the motors that you wanna use in here. I'm gonna skip this. It's not necessary to get this motor spinning. So go ahead and just click skip page. It's gonna ask me the, a motor for the second axis. Again, I'm gonna click skip this page as well and then go ahead and click finish. Next, we wanna go in and we wanna configure this, this drive. So double click on it and, and it will take us to the configuration page. First, we wanna to go to this power link configuration, hit the plus sign, then, then go to process data mapping. Go ahead and hit the plus sign on that. And then instead of two axes, we want this to be one axis. So go ahead and just change that to one axis. And then go ahead down here where it has encoder 41. That's the encoder that we're actually plugged into with this cable. And it's a single cable solution, but there's the feedback is actually included in there as well. Go ahead and change that to end at. Oh, whoops, I have to hit plus. Then we go to the interface used and then we can do end at right here. Then we wanna to go to axis reference. Go ahead and click on that. You're gonna get a drop down and do the G axis underscore one. And then lastly, I like to just make sure that there's no encoder on the second one. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this from one encoder to no encoder. All right, once we've done those changes to this configuration view, go ahead and hit save all and then close right out of there. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna go and we wanna add a structured text program. This is the best practice. This is what is recommended. And we're actually gonna copy something from the help file for the structured text program. But first, let's go ahead and add it. So make sure you're highlighted over the project. And then what you wanna do in search, just type in ST for structured text, and we're gonna do the ST program all in one. Go ahead and double click that, and we'll add it down here into our logical view. Go ahead and open that up. Then let's go to variables, right click on variables, hit open, and then open as text. We're gonna add some pre-canned uh, blocks in here. So where we're going to get those is from the help file. Go ahead up here and click on help, then show help explorer. And then what we want to do is we want to scroll down and we want to click on motion control. Then we want to click on map motion. Then we want to go to guides. Then we want to do getting started. And then you want to click on axis. 
And then we wanna click on programming. This is where we're gonna get those CAM programs that we're gonna just copy and paste into our program. So go ahead here and click this little icon, then hit Control C for copy. Go back over to our program and hit Control V for paste. Go ahead and hit save all. Then you can close out of that. And then we're gonna to go to the main structured text program, double click on it. And then we'll go back to that help file and we're gonna copy the program down here. So click this icon to highlight it. Hit Control C for copy. Go ahead back to the program and let's insert that program in place of this program here. So hit Control V for paste. Go ahead and hit save all and then make sure we're in run mode and connected to our controller. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this project and transfer it on down. So go ahead and do that, hit the transfer button. You'll see that it begins to build the pro program down here. That's exactly what we wanna see. Next, what we wanna do is go ahead and click transfer and it's gonna actually transfer that project on down to this controller. It's probably gonna power it off a couple of times. The drive might turn on and off a few times. That's exactly what you wanna see. All right, we're all set. Go ahead and hit close. And then we can close out of these here. And then what we're gonna do is highlight over program, right click on program, hover over open, and then go and hit watch. And then what we wanna do is right click in the white space, insert variable. Go ahead and insert the MP axis basic underscore zero. Click add. All right. So what we wanna do is we wanna go and we wanna actually first power this thing on. So what we're gonna go over here and hit changes from false to true. So go ahead and click on it, then hit a one for true. And then you'll see right down here, power is on, it's true now. Next, we wanna home it. So go ahead and click home. And then you can see right down, it, it is home. So go ahead and we can change that back to false again. It's gonna stay homed. And then we can do a move velocity, a move absolute, or a mood ad, mood, move additive. Let's go ahead and just do a move velocity for now. So go ahead and change this to one. Watch the spin, watch the motor spin. All right, guys, we actually are able to spin the motor. We can now take these different parameters in here and load this into a program. And that's what I'm gonna teach you what to do next week. We're gonna actually hook the motor up to an actuator and make a basic program to move it back and forth. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys, if you guys do like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe on my YouTube station. I've got lots of other great information on these types of products on that YouTube station that may be of interest to you. All right, have a great weekend and please stay safe.